This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hello everybody. Today we're going to have a lot of fun because we're going to be looking at I'm going to tell you what we're going to be looking at. Hold up the box. Hold up the box. Hold up the box. We are going to be looking at Cas My Little Castle Panic. Oh, this is going to be great. This is such... Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to play this and look at this and show you how great this game is. You know, you're stealing all my lines. I mean, we're looking at Castle Panic, My Little Castle Panic, and we're going to teach you how to play this game, particularly because this particular version is going up to my grandson, so we're going to explain the rules to make it easy for them. Hudson, this game is fun! Well, don't give it all away. I, I mean, let's at least explain the game. I mean, can we do that? Okay, without further ado, let's go down to the table and learn my little castle panic. That's my line. Let's head down to the table. So here we are, my little, my first castle panic. Wow, this really looks amazing. I can't believe how cool this looks. How do we play it? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me quickly. All right, well, <laughs> easy. I know you're excited to try this out. But it's very, very simple how this is played. What happens at the beginning of the turn, I mean, at the beginning of the game, what you're going to do is assemble your castle. As you can see, we have a castle here, and it's all assembled. The wall here is a blockade. It's going to stop the monsters just once, though. These monsters are going to be marching along. You're going to have a pile of monsters, and we're going to put them right next to the board. And then, of course, we're going to have our cards. What happens is, you, at the beginning of the game, you each get to be drawn one card. Oh, this looks great. I like this guy here. He looks really cool. He has a red symbol. Yes, you're correct. He does have a red symbol. And the idea is to play this card and match the symbols. If you're able to match the symbols and the color, and the monster is on there, well, guess what? He has to go into the dungeon. And as you can see here, there's a little dungeon in the box. So if he dies, well, he doesn't die. If he is removed from the game and captured, he is going to go into the dungeon where he's a prisoner. But that's not how, that's not a, as easy as you think it is. Now, how to play. Each turn, it consists of four steps. So let's talk about those steps. Yes, let's take a look at these steps. I really like that castle over there. Yeah, easy, big boy. Come on, over here. So what happens here is you're going to draw a card from the draw pile. As you can see, I have drawn a card. I'm going to play one card from my hand, or I can ask for help from you, believe it or not. You can ask for help? So we work together to, to defeat all the monsters and capture them? Yes, we work together, and that's the most important part of this game, is working together. If you can't play a card, well, then guess what? The monsters move. So they would move, all move up one. Then we're going to draw a monster from the monster pile. And as you can see, we would put it at the start. But there's some different rules here. There's some things that come into play, and we'll show you what happens. Then it would be your turn. So I would draw a card? Yes, you would draw a card. Can you draw it for me? Why do I have to draw it for you? Because I have paws, I do not have hands. And I do not want to ruin these nice cards with my claws. I'm very, very dangerous. <laughs> okay, Tiger, I'll, I'll turn it. Oh, well, look, you got the same card I did. Well, that doesn't help us at all. No, this is not good. So what would happen? Well, guess what? We would have to move for the monsters, and I can't help you. So all the monsters move up, and then we're going to draw yet another monster. But look at this special symbol here. 
there's something that really happens bad here. This particular monster doesn't start at the start area. This symbol means that he goes to the front. Oh no! He's going to get our castle! Yes, there's a very good chance that he's going to get our ca castle. So, we drew, we drew the monster token and we placed it. And now it would be our turn again. So we, I would draw a card. Well, look, I got a blue card, but it's nothing that we need. But I can ask you for help. I'm willing to help you. Let's work on this and try to get rid of these monsters. Yes, I'm going to ask you for help and you would be able to play your card. So what happens? Well, guess what? We match up the symbols, a square and a square. And guess what? This monster will go to the dungeon. Goodbye, bad monster. You cannot stay and play. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Well, it's fun, but it's very hard and you have to work together. So what would happen again? Well, guess what? All the monsters would move and then we're going to draw another monster. Oh, no. Oh, he's he looks ferocious. There's a lot of monsters on the board. What are we going to do? Well, it would be your turn, and then we would draw another card. But again, we're not we're, what we need. But, but I can ask you for help, because you have a, a red square. That is correct. I have a red square, and I would be able to move that monster. But let's talk about when the monsters get really close and what happens. And that's not good. When a monster gets close and hits the wall on, on their move, so say all these monsters moved, and this monster moved into the wall, what happens? What happens? This gets put aside, and this monster goes into the dungeon. But here is the real bad part of this. If a monster ever hits our castle, our castle is removed, and of course the monster is removed, and guess what happens? Oh no, do we lose? Yes, we lose. We do not win the game. And the monsters would win. And we don't want that to happen. Well, how do we win? Well, that's very easy. All we have to do is defeat this entire pile of monsters, but not as easy as it seems. Wow, this is really hard. You really have to work together. That's correct. Now, there's some special cards in here, and there's all kinds of different cards. This one... This particular card you can use to take any monster off the board. So if you had this card, you would just play it and say, I don't want that monster to be there. So he would go to the dungeon? That's correct. Off to the dungeon he goes. This one is really good because what happens is if we play this card, if our wall is gone, we can bring our wall back. So we can rebuild our wall? Yes, we can rebuild our wall and that will give us an additional de uh, defense. Another card is this particular card. These are heroes and they can be, they can use any of these symbols only in that color. That could be very helpful, especially if there's monsters on, on, on the, the, the different colors. As long as they're on green, we can defeat them? Yes, you can defeat them for sure. Now, this hero is really special because you can use any color. So any circle of any color, you can take a monster off. So we do have some chances. Yes, you have some chances there. But there's also some monsters in here, like this guy who pushes everybody forward, and this guy who gets makes the monsters get an additional turn. So when he comes out, Everybody would move up forward and then you would have to draw another monster and put it on this one on the start So the monsters can fill up real quick Wow This looks like so much fun. I think it is and I think Hudson and, and his dad will like it. What do you think? I sure do. I Hope that we get a chance to play it. Yeah, we'll play it and then we'll send it up to Hudson and Lily What do you think of that? That sounds great. So, why don't off camera you and I play a few rounds and then tell everybody what we think of this game. That sounds great! Alright, so let's send it up top and uh, we're going to play a few rounds and then we're going to tell you what we think of this game. I already like this game a lot, I can tell. It looks great and it's fun. <laughs> yes, 
it definitely is so let's head up top all I can say is wow wow this is so much fun I had the greatest time ever this this is a great game it's fun it's hard and we have to work together we played it a couple times but we lost we could not beat all those monsters they came and they took our castle it was horrible it was awful it was <laughs> easy easy listen this is a lot of fun and it's great with kids from four four and up and I really think you'll like it now I played the original Castle Panic and I really liked it a lot and I thought it was a lot of fun but this is so simple it's so easy and it's just even fun you know playing this by yourself or with a tiger that's right tigers love games and tigers love to play games where they can capture monsters and work together and win but we did not win no we didn't win we had pretty pretty hard time but if you really work together you'll find that this is a lot of fun and it's very enjoyable and I think the kids will love it the art is fantastic the monsters are cute no monsters are cute but I do like catching them and throwing them into the dungeon it gives me great satisfaction <laughs> okay I'm glad it gives you great satisfaction we had a lot of fun with this and I look forward to sending this up to my grandson where he and his father will get to play this as you can see it wasn't hard to learn and you can learn it in five minutes and it's just plain fun and isn't that what games are all about that sure is especially when you play with a tiger ah! I love this game I give it five paws up <laughs> five paws up okay it's fun it's enjoyable it's a great beginner game and it's something that you can really enjoy with children of all ages and the tiger gave it five pump thumbs five paws up you have no thumbs <laughs> how about five claws if I get mad if I cannot beat this game it's going to be five claws for sure I hope you enjoyed this, Hudson. Hudson, this is a great game and so much fun. And all you kitties out there, run out and get this. You will love it. It is fantastic. It sure is. So until next time, for me and the tiger, we'll see you soon.